with Lee Medoff, and we're at a very, very unique space right off the 23rd Street here in Northwest Portland. This is Bull Run Distillery. Tell me a little bit about this place. Well, we're one of the newer distilleries here in Oregon. There's quite a few distilleries in Oregon. We're the epicenter of the craft distilling movement in the nation. Uh, but we got our license back in October of last year, and we're focused on producing uh, a dark spirits, primarily whiskey and rum. Okay, so there is a huge thing going on right now with distillers. I mean, that is kind of the, the big thing that's going on, the big trend. Yes, absolutely. No, uh, spirits are growing and the craft distilling movement is growing uh, uh, leaps and bounds. Uh, the movement's all around the country, but uh, right here in Oregon, we're like the epicenter, as I was saying. There's quite a few distilleries through the state. We're producing all sorts of products. We've got vodkas, yeah. gins, rums, whiskeys, mm -hmm. brandies, liqueurs, all sorts of things being produced here. Now, this is a pretty big facility, actually. Yes, yes, it is. We are probably one of the largest distilleries in the state. Uh, we produced this, or we decided to do this distillery in a large way so we could produce a lot of uh, whiskey, a lot of bourbon, uh, and a lot of uh, a rum. And so the idea was to really upscale the whole thing so we can put a lot of barrels down. Now, there's also kind of this really good mix of, of people who are in um, the wine business, the, the beer business, mm -hmm. and now in spirits that you all kind of are family in a way. Yes, yes. No, it's a very fraternal organization. In fact, we created the Oregon Distillers Guild back in 2007 as kind of a, a trade organization to uh, deal with marketing, legislative things, but primarily a fraternal uh, organization. We do get together quite a bit and uh, sample each other's products as well as <laughs> beer and wine. So. Now, your products are available at the local yes, stores, Yes, yes. Yeah, right? Here in the state of Oregon, we're a control state, so we can be able to sell things uh, through the state-controlled liquor stores, as well as through our tasting room here at the, at the distillery. Okay, quickly tell me the names of your products. Uh, we have Medoya Vodka, which is uh, named after my family. Uh, my, my family's Russian heritage, and we enjoy vodka quite a bit. Um, we have Temperance Trader Bourbon, uh, which is a bourbon that we bring in and, uh, and uh, bottle up here and use Bull Run water uh, for that. Uh, we're also making uh, Oregon whiskey, which is what's happening happening behind us today, right now, is Oregon Whiskey. Uh, and we're also going to come up with Pacific Rum, which we'll be launching at the uh, end of this month, uh, right before the, the, the Toast uh, event. Okay, we're going to learn more about the Toast event and a little bit more about your alcohol that you distill here. Good. All right. Well, I've bellied up to the bar here at the tasting room of the Bull Run Distillery, and we're talking about Toast which is in its second annual event. And Ryan is with the Oregon Distillers Guild. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about TOAST. So this is the second year that we're uh, putting TOAST together. And TOAST is uh, an acronym for the, or or the Oregon Artists and Spirits Tasting. Uh, essentially a craft spirits festival where we bring in distilleries from all over the country. In fact, uh, eight states and seven countries will be represented. And this in its second year has become the largest craft spirit tasting in North America. Wow, it's today and tomorrow at exactly. the World Trade Center. Yes, and it's from 3 to 8 both days, uh, and uh, it is at this point uh, involving 56 distilleries, and there's going to be 170 different spirits uh, available to taste. Okay, so I know that you can taste the different spirits at the toast event, but can you get a, a drink mix? Absolutely, and uh, that is why we have the Mix Lounge, sponsored by Mix Magazine. The Oregon Bartenders Guild, uh, some of the finest professional bartenders in the city of Portland, will be uh, mixing cocktail samples with some of the spirits uh, that are available for tasting at the event. So it's a nice way to actually see how some of these spirits work in the real world in actual cocktails. And if you do like the way they taste in cocktails, or even just the way the spirits taste themselves, we do have an on-site liquor store, and this is the first time ever at an event like this you can buy spirits at the actual event. So if you find a bottle you like, you can go right over to the liquor store and uh, pick up that bottle and take it home with you. It's well, a, I'm gonna a lot of fun. have you get busy. Oh, I'm going to make a cocktail <laughs> here, and this is uh, a little bit of a uh, play on the classic whiskey sour. I'll be using the uh, Bull Run Temperance Trader whiskey since we are here at Bull Run Distillery. And it starts out with a little fresh lemon juice. So you know a lot of distillers around this area. Well, being the executive director of the Oregon Distillers yeah. Guild, yes, I consider them all close friends. And some of the things that, that they're able to do and come up with are quite creative. Oh, absolutely. There's an amazing amount of creativity going on in craft distilling right now. And, and that's part of what makes craft distilling uh, so much fun is that being small distilleries, you have a lot more opportunity to play around and experiment with things that some of the bigger distilleries may not be able to do. Okay, so we have some fresh lemon juice, the temperance whiskey, of course, and of what course. else? Uh, about three quarters ounce of uh, simple syrup. And then uh, the twist I was saying, it's a twist on a uh, classic whiskey yes. sour, is a little bit of this uh, Grand Classico bitter. Uh, so it's kind of a nice, uh, nice little play on it. And we're not going to use a whole lot, just enough to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And then we'll get a little ice in here. All right. 
And you have to shake it like that over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly should. <laughs> All right. I'm in, I make a mean whiskey sour myself, so I'm, I'm curious. Ryan, well, you're on are, the spot. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see how close we come. But since we are using fresh uh, citrus, we do tend to get some seeds and pith in there, and so I do like to use a fine strainer just it to make like sure. looks like you do this professionally. I've done it a few times. <laughs> All right. Here's to you. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Again, toast Absolutely. this weekend, today, tomorrow. Tickets are available at the door at the World Trade Center. Absolutely. All right. If you'd like to know more about Bull Run Distillery, just go to our website, fusionnw.com.